3D Bioprinting is a highly advanced manufacturing platform that allows patients to have a customized organ fabricated specially to replace their faulty ones. This could open a new world of possibilities for the medical field, while directly benefiting patients who need replacement organs. Let me share with you New 3D Printing Organs Technology. This is New Technology Today, bringing you the hottest tech innovation straight to your screen. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And of course, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to keep yourself up to date. Number 10. Bioprinted Heart A couple of months ago, a team of Israeli researchers presented a bioprinted heart the size of a cherry. The organ consisted of cells, blood vessels, ventricles, and chambers, a first for the industry. The researchers developed a hydrogel from the patient's own fat tissue, reducing the risk of rejection once implanted. The printing process would have taken only three to four hours. The heart is no bigger than a rabbit's heart, but it's an encouraging start. Note also the results obtained by BioLife 4D, the American company has succeeded in bioprinting a miniature human heart with ventricles and cavities. Number 4. Bioprinted Corneas The World Health Organization estimates that 10 million people worldwide require surgery to prevent corneal blindness and 4.9 million already suffer from complete blindness due to corneal scarring. In 2019, researchers from the University of Newcastle developed a 3D printed artificial cornea for the first time that could be transplanted for people in need. After studying and generating data from a volunteer's eye, the researchers were able to design a 3D model of the cornea. One of the most challenging aspects was using the right materials to hold the concave shape of the cornea as well as finding an ink thin enough to squirt through a 3D bioprinter's nozzle. Using only one healthy human cornea, they were able to 3D print 50 artificial ones, a breakthrough advancement in ophthalmology. Number 8. Bioprinted Mini Liver Researchers at the University of Sao Paulo in Brazil have succeeded in creating miniature versions of human liver from blood cells. The process took only 90 days from the collection of the patient's blood to the production of the tissue. These liver organoids, developing using 3D bioprinting technologies, integrate the functionalities of the organ in question. These include the production of vital proteins, the storage of vitamins, and the secretion of bile. To create the liver tissue, the team used incredible bioprinter, marketed by manufacturer Cellink, one of the most recognized in the industry. Number 7. Bioprinted Ear Project this bioprinting project was made possible through a collaboration between Queensland University of Technology and Maya Van Mulligan to help her regain her hearing. The Hear Save Foundation, also involved in the recovery of the little girl, states that the 3D printed ear is fully functional and will allow Maya to hear again. The ear implant was created using the patient's cartilage cells, reducing the risk of rejection once implanted. In addition, this type of custom-made bioprinting solution is actually less expensive than other alternatives. Number 6. Bioprinting a Pancreas A team of scientists from the Foundation of Research and Development of Science has set itself the goal of developing a functional 3D printed pancreas by 2020, which will help diabetic patients avoid having to inject insulin and minimize the risk of related secondary complications, which often lead to death. For the bioprinting, a biopsy of the patient and stem cell harvest is first performed. The cells are then converted into cells capable of producing insulin and glucagen. These are then used as bio-ink to print the pancreas. Hold on tight as I will introduce a bioprint that can be considered as a feature of burn wound reconstruction. Bioprinted Bones A team from Swansea University in the UK has developed a bioprinting process which can create an artificial bone matrix using durable regenerative biomaterial. Currently, extremely complex bone fractures are treated through a surgical procedure called bone grafting, which replaces missing or damaged bones with synthetic cement-based materials. However, this technique comes with its limitations, as these structures can often have inappropriate mechanical integrities and don't allow the formation of new bone tissues. The bioprinted bones can be printed in the exact structure needed with a durable and regenerative biomaterial. This material is made from gelatin, agarose, collagen alginate, calcium phosphate, and polycaprolactone. Number 4. Bioprinted Cartilage Researchers at an Australian biofabrication center called Biofab 3D have built a handheld cartilage printing device called the BioPen. The BioPen is filled with stem cells derived from a patient's fat, which can create and surgically implant custom scaffolds of living material into failing joints. Much like 3D printed bones, the cartilage undergoes a process of growth and development within the body. So far, it's only been tested on sheep, but its developers hope that in future, the BioPen can also help to accelerate the regeneration of functional cartilage in human patients. 
In practice, a surgeon will be able to use the 3D printing technology of the handheld stylus to place a bio-ink into a damaged joint layer by layer. The ink layers, which are comprised of stem cells and specially selected growth factors within a biopolymer matrix, form a structure which a patient's reproducing cells will rapidly strengthen for lasting cartilage repair. Number 3. Bioprinted Kidneys Professor Anthony Atala, director of Wake Forest Institution for Regenerative Medicine, presented a 3D bioprinted kidney for the first time. Within seven hours, his team was able to design this organ from stem cells. The kidney could not live for very long, but the project was full of promise. Since then, the printing work has continued. At Harvard, for example, researchers have succeeded in bioprinting a 3D model of a vascularized proximal tubule to better understand the structure and function of the kidney. Number 2. Bioprinted Ovaries Researchers from Northwestern University were developing a solution for women with fertility issues. Back then, they had succeeded in implanting a bioprinted ovary in a sterile mouse. Two years later, the researchers made some very promising progress. They were able to map the location of structural proteins in a pig ovary, allowing them to create a bio-ink to bioprint functional ovaries for human use. Additionally, the team explained that their methodology could be used to identify other types of proteins that could facilitate the creation of bio-inks for other organs. Number 1. Bioprinted Skin the market for bioprinted skin is growing steadily. According to BBC Research, the market will grow from $24.7 billion in 2018 to $109.9 billion in 2023. The startup company Poitis has developed 4D printed skin, which in the future could be transplanted for victims of burns or skin diseases. The software called Cytocentric CAD has been developed specifically for the printing process, which is designed to meet the challenge of imitating the body's own tissue. This is 4D printing. As tissue components are precisely arranged in space and are also subject to the action of self-organization processes of cells. By taking self-organizing processes into account, it is possible to create highly complex tissue structures that are very close to those of the human body. The 4D printed skin is clinically tested in collaboration with the Assistance Public, Hopito de Marseille. Poitis' long-term goal is to place a bioprinter in every hospital to enable the production of personalized tissue and improve the waiting time of patients waiting for transplants. Which of these organs bioprint really got your attention? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment below so I can talk about it with you in the first hour. Technology is really a great tool for our advancement. Find out in my related video, New Electric Bikes You Can Buy Today. You don't need to be physically fit to ride one. It gets you outside, reduces fossil fuels, reduces congestion, and it's fun. Stay connected, stay up to date.